Hi, in this video we'll see about the date filters. If I have some drawn some graph here in the tableau, if I want to filter it based on the dates, months, years, weeks, quarters, anything, I can use it with the help of date filters. Let us see that. Now first of all what I'll do is I'll try to create a graph here with the help of this row shelf and the column shelf. So I'll just use the category part and drop into the rows. Select the sales and drop into the uh, that is the rows again. And now what I'll do is I have created a graph here based on the category and the sales. I want in the columns based on the dates that is the order date. So I'll drag order date and drop into the columns. So if you observe here based on the year 2012 to 2017 all the values all the sales it is shown. So you can, if you observe sales in 2015 is the highest in all the places in all the categories. This is the highest sales if you observe this 2015 here. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to filter my data based on the date categories Okay. Or based on this date part. So same thing what I'll do is I'll try to pick up this order date and drop into this filters. So if you observe that is nothing but order date which is given in the years. So I'll drop it back. Let me show you if I expand this, if I expand this one here it will give me a quarter which says 2012 and that's a quarter Q3, 2013 Q3, 2014 Q3. So based on the quarters this data been expanded. I'll just click on this minimize button. Now I'll pick up this order date, drop into this filters part. Now when I drop into the filters part it says filter field that is order date based on which parameter. Okay, based on the range of dates, years, quarters directly, whichever you want. So I'll select as range of dates and click on this next button. Now if you see that's a filter, that is the order date. Now I'll select relative dates. So in the relative dates, based on what thing do you want to filter? Based on years, quarters, months or weeks. Right now I'll select as years. So here if you see here, now in the years, I have previous year, this year, next year. The day which we are recording is 2017, that's a year, 2017 year. Now if I say this year, so if you observe this 2017, if I click on apply, in this entire graph, I'm getting 2017 graph itself. If I say next year, since I do not have anything in next year, if I click on apply, it will be empty. If you see, that's totally empty at this place. Now if I say previous year, that is 2016, if I click on apply, and if you observe that is 2016. So you can filter out your graph based on the dates, that is the years. Now if I want to see the trend in the last three years, I can just select this option, three years. If you want, you can increase four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever you want. So right now I'll select as only four years, okay? And I'll click on apply, all right. So if you observe here 2014, 2015, 2016, 17, that is the last four years you're counting, including the year which you're into this. Same way, if I say for next three years, since I do not have any three years next one, I have only 2017, so I'll get only one year. So if I select uh, last two years, if I click on apply, and if you see last two years will be visible here, okay? So I'll click on this cancel button. Now it has been filtered based on the year. If you do not want a filter at any point of time, you can just simply drag and drop it outside. So it will go. Now, now you can see there's no filter applied here. Now let's see if you want to filter out based on the months, same method, I'll just pick up this order date and drop into the filters and I'll select range of dates, click on this next, I'll select as relative dates, select as quarter, let's see about the quarters first. Now if I say I want to filter out based on this quarter, apply, it says there's only one 2017, that's the quarter which is given. If I select previous quarters, click on apply, there's no previous quarters here. If I say last quarters, if I say last uh, nine quarters if i say if i click on apply that is the result based on this nine quarters okay though it is given as years because in this field i have selected as year pile pill itself so if i say i want in the quarters part you have to just maximize this area itself and that, that's it so you can work with the quarters same applies for the months if you want to see for the last nine months if you click on apply okay and if you see that's 2017 if i say if i want to go for last 15 months click on apply so last 15 months will count both the years 2016 2017 same applies for weeks and days so remember whatever is the start date and the end date you can observe from this area itself right so i'll click on cancel remove the order date outside if you want again you can bring it at this place okay selected range of date click on next now here it comes after i select relative dates if i want that is a range of dates the starting date and ending date, I can type here as starting date, I can type here as ending date. So if I click on this place, okay, if I select, if I put a backspace here, if I say 05, 05, 
2014 that's a my start date and if you observe when i select 0505 the cursor has been moved from this place to this place that means if you want to modify this date without typing anything you can just scroll it and if you observe the numbers are changing the dates are changing here right same way at this end date if you want to modify you can just simply select this date okay i'll just select this date from here 2016 so i'll say as it should be 20 and the year it should be as 20 2014 okay and if you see the date has been changed if you want you can just still maximize the start date and end date what will happen if you filter out this date this will impact your graph indirectly so if i click on apply it says from 2013 to 2015 these are the graphs which you are getting it right so based on the range of date now if you do not want this range of dates starting and ending date if you only want the starting date you can select as starting date you can modify the date here itself if you only want ending date you can select here as ending date and you can work on that right and the last one i have that is this special where i can find out the null dates non-null dates or all dates so you can select any one of them so if i select null dates and if i click on this apply there are no null dates which are given if i say yes all dates and if i click on this apply so this will show me all the dates whichever are present at my place so i'll just click on this ok button right so i hope you have understood how to work with the filters and that too with the date filters that's all for this video